Hey friends, welcome back. S'more here bringing you some more Seven Days to Die. This is the Experimental 16.4 version, and this is episode 51, I believe. In this episode, we're going to start the base build that we're going to use for this series, and we will go over its details and then a few more changes to our playstyle. So grab yourself something delicious to drink. Join me. Let's get going. All right, friends. So after a little bit of consideration and then some feedback on the last video, which is doing really well, I think we're actually just going to keep it at the default running. Um, based on the feedback that I got back from the last video, some of us seem to appreciate the more canon, uh, you know, zombies plot along compared to the always run. Now, I am mostly comfortable either way. If you were to say s'more, just do it is the funnest um the uh the standard walk is what i think is the most fun the always run is just wicked stressful really having said that you know, i can play either way i'm not too worried about it but for right so right now it's set to uh you know walk during the day and we're gonna do some looting we really need a wrench Actually, guys, before we really do do the wrench, we should probably go and gather a bunch of scrap. And so we'll we'll go over how to make that happen down here. So I did do some scouting. I did play during day two, uh, but that episode was rather slow, and so I decided just to not air it anyways. Going forward, what I think we really need to be looking for is a wrench because we really need the construction bench. And here's what we're gonna do, guys. We're gonna impose a little bit more limits. And I'm a fan of, of rules and some limits. My thinking being that what we're gonna wind up doing is only crafting things if they require a recipe, if we actually have the recipe. Uh, if we, oh, it's a tombstone, not a backpack. Derp. So for example, uh, we, I'm fine with us crafting first aid kits because we have the actual first aid kit recipe. If we didn't and we forgot to get something to eat on our way out, dang it, uh, I wouldn't be making them. What I think we'll wind up doing, was that, did I just see scrap? No, I didn't, okay. So what I think we're gonna wind up doing is just keeping a collection of the blueprints that we do already have and will continue to get and we will just hold on to those. And so that way we'll know what we are, quote, able to make and not able to make. Man, so much easier, <laughs> to be honest, with them just walking. Ooh, a quest, excellent. Oh, see, so now we can make the Magnum because we just got the Magnum book. Awesome. I always thought that the blueprint, the way like the blueprints and schematics in, the, in Seven Days Today works is was a little weird. Um, it would make sense that you would find them and then you would have everybody read from them. Not just you read it and then it magically poof disappeared, if that makes sense. Ah, here we go, guys. So these are going to be our major sources of iron at first. Let's get in and just clear these real fast. I don't think it'll be too hard. We'll have some sleepers, but hopefully nothing that we can't deal with. We're out of arrows. Go figure, right? And if we just got lucky and just happened to find a wrench, that'd be nice too. So we got this guy right here. Maybe he'll have a wrench on him. Oh, maybe he'll just stop there. Okay, I guess. Nope, nothing. There we go. Actually, I don't want him to blow the car up, so we're going to back up a little bit. Let's back up even further, just because I hear another one back there, and I don't want to necessarily draw them to try and break through the fence. Okay, okay. See, here's Mr. Walking McWalk Pants. Oh my gosh, jump place, jump place. There we go. Right. 
I don't know why the stripper took so many hits, but boy, did she ever. Okay, let's get back to work, guys. So knocking these down is great if you have long days and you're able to really get, you know, if you're able to get up there and you're able to spend a bunch of time early game, they're a fantastic source of scrap. Safer probably to mine, but, you know, that's just, you know, how, how that works out. I didn't realize that there were two, so this is a legit POI. It's not just two that spawned on top of each other. That's interesting. Do I hear anybody else too nearby? Yeah, you're okay for now. So what we're going to wind up doing, guys, make this jump right here. And then let's see how high we can get up here. We'll just have to remember the way that we came. All right, so how tough are these? Let's just start with this. That's not too bad. Let's see how much uh, scrap it gives us. 15. So what we're gonna do here, guys, is we're gonna... Actually, do I have any wood on us? Oh, I don't. Instead of doing that, guys, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna need like maybe 60 or so of these frames. So we're gonna make a whole buttload of these frames. And while those frames are crafting, we can continue to knock out other pieces of this POI that will work really well for scrap. And he'll give up eventually, right? Excellent, so let's just knock this down real quick. We need wood frames, not scrap frames. That's a good start. And then like these pipes provide a lot too, I believe. Let's snag this tree as well, and then we'll just make turn them all into frames. So the idea, guys, is we're gonna hop up to the top of that tower and take out every other row, generating the maximum amount of the scrap iron piles. So we'll see how well it works. Uh, I did loot the other radio tower POI, because like I said, I came down here and scouted it out in the other episode. Oof, that guy was very acrobatic. Well, there's a mini bike seat, which would be nice. Don't know that we're going to get to mini bike anytime soon, to be honest. Seems like an odd block to be missing. Uh, we don't want that. Also, that guy stopped hitting on things. Did he break through? Nope, he just forgot about us. Did I? There we go. Alright, now just to figure out how to actually target him. Let's go over here. Let's jump up here. Uh, can we shoot through the chain link? Yeah, apparently we can. Awesome. Oh, then that was apparently all we needed to do. Okay. Well, at least now he'll stop being so irritating sounding, yeah? Looks like our frames are done crafting. Is there anything else in here that we wanted? Um, I'm going to break into the gun safe. It'll just take a moment, guys. <sighs> so, let's talk about the build that we're going to start. We are going to start the... Let's see. So, the most feedback that I got was like a dozer of some sort or a um, like a Mad Max 18-wheeler with a trailer behind it. And so I think we're going to kind of combine some of those build ideas. Um, I'm excited for it. I haven't ever done anything quite like that. Let's just do another. You can almost never have too many wood frames, right, guys? And of course, in typical uh, s'more fashion, we are absolutely neglecting our poor guy's body and health and hunger and everything else. You know, guys, a build between that tower and this tower would be pretty cool, too. That's a free pro tip for anybody that would like to use that. Oh, we have lights up here. Oh, that's nice. Now, it's a good thing the game doesn't calculate compression. Know what I mean? Uh, 
and that is just cement after that. So what we can actually do is very, very carefully very carefully start knocking these out and let's see if I can't show you guys what I'm talking about. And it's only 8 o'clock so we should have some time. Okay, one of you guys. Awesome. Boom. Hop down one. Hop down two. Wow, that fog passed, and suddenly this biome is much more tolerable. That's interesting. Okay, and I don't even think this will actually take all that long.
Let's see. To start the build, I'm just trying to figure out, do we want to start the build with like... We'll start it with the cab, to be sure. And then let's see what the number was, guys. 2278. Mm, not as good as I was initially thinking it was going to be, unfortunately. There's a little more, but it's not going to, like, make up the difference. Anything else? Got to clean up our mess, of course. And that looks to be about it. Huh, I was, to be honest, I was hoping that was going to be a little bit more. But you know what? That's all right. So we have destroyed right there and burnt right here and a crawler right here. To kill those guys faster, you can really just kneel, right? Get at their eye level and then just swing away. Guys, I'm kind of thinking this is it right here, guys. Uh, let's see. How far away are we from the various biomes that we care about? It would be better if it was more in the middle, it looks like. I mean, now we're, now we're talking about, you know, negating, you know, 20 seconds of running. So I think anywhere around here, we're probably going to be pretty good. Oh, hello, buzzard. Stupid bird. And you guys can just see all the scrap metal just laying around, too. So I think this is where we're going to do it, guys, is right here. We'll have some cars to wrench and things like that. But already there's a good deposit here. There's a good deposit there. And I'm sure if we dig that way, we'll find a good deposit down there too. Uh, so let's see. Let's put the first. Okay, let's see. So the big rig and the trailer are going to be kind of large. This is going to be interesting, guys, because once we finish one build, we can just move on to the next one. It'll either be in front of or behind the last build. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Uh, so let's get started, guys. I know that we're going to need... That was not what I... <laughs> Dang it. Here. Uh, let's just make, like, ten of these, right? This is all real basic stuff because we know we're going to need them, so we'll just get started with them. Not a problem. And then... Bird is really distracting. Jeez Louise. Okay. Uh, big rig. We're going to need some wheels. And for these smaller wheels, I think we'll just do the same plan that we had done earlier. I know that... Let's see if this right here is the crease. And the front wheel, I think, should go up like right here. One, two, three... So what I have to do, guys, is kind of try and center the build. So there's that. And if we run in a straight enough line. Is it this right here? I think it's this guy. I think so. I think so. Let's just double check this one, right? Because you have to. <laughs> you have to double check, right? Oh, okay, and then we placed this guy, yeah, just inside the fold, right? Yeah, okay, same thing with this one over here. And then one, two, three, four. I think that, let's make another 10 real quick. Oof, and then don't forget, guys, this is just for spacing. Oh, in fact, oh, sorry, that's just what I should have done there. These are perfect for this. And so basically what I'm looking for is how far apart. We'll probably do an even number. So like one, two, three, four. That's five. That's six. I think that looks good. And so what we'll do is we will there and then there. Now how many overall do we do? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
nine. All right, let's check this side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I cannot believe that actually worked, guys. I'm not too worried about fore and aft, per se. I just want to center it in the road. Everything else after that can be loosey-goosey, if you will. So, guys, I don't think we have an arched scrap metal block, if you will. Come on, don't be difficult. I wonder how hot we are around here. Might be actually kind of warm given where we're at. Oh no, we're getting frozen, so that's cool. Okay, uh, so these are gonna be the tires and then the cab will sit, you know, engine block where I'm standing, you know, and then the cab will be over it. And then uh, a nice big heavy block wall for the front of the trailer, more wheels, and they'll just go back. So the semi alone will probably come back to at least here, probably. Oh, it got beautiful in the game. That was nice. I want to look at, is there, oh, well, there's one arch. Or is it only, oh, I bet you it's only concrete. Let's look at this, guys. I hope you guys don't have a problem with me using the creative menu because I am not at all afraid to. And then I'll just kick out what seems like an appropriate amount of raw resources. This is what I want right here. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then let's see if each of these is 10. We need to kick out 80. Close enough. You'll be seeing that a lot, guys. Okay. So now we just got to make sure that we put these things in the right. Oh, you don't fit nicely. Ah, oh, you, you douches. We'll hold on to those. Maybe we'll get to use them later. And so for the time being, we're going to make squircle wheels again. And then let's go over here. Drop these down. Some of the more complex parts of the build, I'll probably just do off camera. Like I tried to do, tried to do a lot of the mech on camera, but there were some parts of it like it was just not very realistic to do so. Okay, Oop, there we go. Still have it. Awesome. Let's copy that guy right there. Ah, okay, and then let's see. We're going to need... Oh, it combines it, too. That's nice. I was wondering if that would do that. I'm glad we found the eggs. More bacon and eggs. So that takes care of the two front wheels, and I thought maybe a little ladder up. Sorry, thought I heard something. Okay. So let's get this whole engine block, like, front figured out. Let's see, I think we're gonna need to go. Actually, what we should probably do is finish building out around the wheels and then we'll come forward. Um, let's see. I do love how quickly these things build. That's really nice. Hmm, probably right there, right there, right there. Hmm. <coughs> oh, excuse me, guys. A lot of talking for one day, if you will. Or at least for me. Um, hey. Oh, guys. That's important. Sorry. I know we were building. We were right in the middle of a huge build. All the buildings. Lots of buildings. But this right here cannot wait. Come on, ma'am. Have a splint. For whatever reason, I thought that was going to be our lucky day, guys. That's okay. We've gotten lucky with nurses before. Phrasing. So I won't complain about it too much now. So I think we're going to need... Let's see. This will be an axle. So that means our uh, wheel is probably going to be like... Or I'm sorry. The floor is going to be like all the way up here. 
Okay, and that I can live with. And then we're going to need an engine block. That, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's how I want to do that. It would be nice to build it and then get... Uh, it's 5 o'clock. Here's what we'll do, guys. And some of you can probably already figure out what I'm gonna, figuring out what I'm gonna do. Uh, we're gonna build a little box just to huddle in and hide, and so that way I can work on it overnight. Because right now it's just like placing Legos. It's pretty easy. Come on, there we go, game. In fact, guys, I did it again. <laughs> so this is something that we can readily use the wood frames for, and they're much cheaper. Not that we won't use all those scrap frames, but... We should try... You know, I should at least try and set the good example on a video, right? That's good enough for now. With any luck, this might be the last night that we actually spend in the... Oh, in the, um, come on, in the house that we're in right now. So we have better arches, to be honest. There's the two meter arch. We actually have a three meter arch. Now, where's that thing at? Is it not available on scrap? Oh, that would be very sad. It's really cool looking block. There's the two meter. Two meter. You can see it says 2M all the way on the right of the name. That's how we know it's two meter. Um, how about 3M? So it looks like it's only in flagstone, which is problematic, guys, because one, I don't have any. Two, well, let's just show you what I wanted to do. Maybe that's the thing that we'll just upgrade a whole bunch of. You guys, keep me honest. Make sure that I pay the, the cobblestone price, as you were. So there's that. That. And then that. 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 And that. And then those will eventually get upgraded. So I know it doesn't look like a whole lot right now, guys, but this is going to be... This is going to be good. I like this already. So let's see. Just trying, just kind of visualizing in my head. Do I see? And then like these, I actually want to go one higher with. That way they're not so easily smacked, if you will. All right. And then we know that we're going to have to come up and we'll leave some room for some doors. And then we're going to need to put in a few chairs because this is the chair putty in movement, right? And then, so if we have chairs, hmm, can we make chairs? I can't recall. I think we can. Yeah, there we go. Office chair. Too much stuff for us right now, but that's okay. Uh, we'll plop some chairs down. We'll get some glass growing across the front. Growing. Going across the front. Okay. I'm liking it so far, guys. And at this point, we probably need some, like... Let's get back to scrap. To scarp. To scrap, shall we? I think we want some of the, like, wedge tips. Let's see if we can't find some of those. Let's make, like... Uh, six for now sounds good. just nice to have all these things on hand you know oh my gosh guys okay hold on we're gonna complain that much we can we can do some of this here shall we that's not what I want this is what we want right here is that a feral that we're hearing I God, I hope not that was scary Jesus
Oh, chest armor schematic, guys. That's a huge find, really, when you think about it. So they're downstairs. I'll let you guess how much I really don't want to go down there. Can't tell if that is fairly or not. Apparently not. Where's the last one at, though? Oh, apparently you can't stand on those, so that's good to know, right? Is it in here? It must be in here, guys. Weird. I just want to. Oh shit! Okay. Oh my god. There's one I think upstairs. Oh, there is. <gasps> Fuck. It's bad guys. Why are there so many? I threw it in my mouth a little bit. I just wanted something to eat because I planned this terribly. Though hopefully at this point you guys don't actually expect any like preparedness or anything. Great, now I have to play Find the Zombie. Come on, guys. Where the hell did you go? See, and if they're construction workers, we really want to kill them then because they might drop wrench. Ah, business guy for one. Okay. Kill him before he goes away and it becomes scary again. And don't forget, guys, we are on warrior difficulty, so it does take a few more hits. Yes, I know we're looking for food, it's just hard to pass all this up once we've cleared it. Oh, that right there, that might be it. Hopefully not, but maybe. Toilet gun. Eh, toilet water. Not nearly as good. Even just a can to help continue the build. <laughs> three ovens? Oh my gosh. Or the cooking pots? Three cooking pots? That's nuts. So those nightstands. I've always really appreciated. I feel like they always drop really good stuff. Sigh, guys. Sigh. That's good, though. It makes the stuff that you don't want to eat, it makes it, you know, viable again, kind of. Because I certainly didn't want to eat that, but it was the best thing that we had on us at the moment. Okay. Those I don't care about. Those I do care about. These I care about. These that I do not care about. And that maybe. So here's what I want to do guys. I want to not break my ankle again. Oh god, no stamina. Oh, I worked so hard for that wellness. Why? <laughs> okay. Uh, so let's see. How do we want to do this? I am really, really liking this so far. Okay, so I think we need to just come down. Oh, but not like that. Gotta have some clearance, right, guys? Um, so here's the part that I don't know. Can I do... Should I do this? It's 8 o'clock already. I'm so going to lose track of time in this biome. That. No, we're going to need to kick it out. But if we kick it out one more, it's going to be like... Okay, here's what I, th I think we can do that. And then we are going to need... Some of the half blocks. Let's see if we can't find those real fast. And then let's flip these things around. Like that. And then let's kick out one of these. Like this, 
this. That. And then on the bottom, maybe what we can do is something like... I think I just had it. I think that was it. It was. <laughs> Dukes. Oh, nope, that was it. Boy, if they just map the rotation to the scroll wheel, that would be so much easier. I don't know if it's an engine limitation. I doubt it. Come on. There. And then this will be kind of the front of it. So what do you guys think? This is a rough profile view. It'll all get filled in, colored, things like that. Um, oddly enough, guys, I feel like we've made way more progress on this thing than we ever did like the mech. <laughs> Go figure, right? Um, or at least in one day, right? Faster progress in one day with this than we ever did with the mech. Hmm. All right, guys, I think we're going to call the episode here. Thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy the episode, please make sure to maybe uh, leave a like. Definitely comment with your guys' game's preference. Do you want to see the zombies run? What do you think of my schematics idea? Sorry that half the episode was collecting resources, but that is a huge part of the game. And I wanted to make sure to show off something that I know I've seen a Dredden do a little bit of, but I've never seen anybody take down a radio tower. So I wanted to, you know, show what I thought would be, and I'm pretty sure is the most efficient way to do that with the tooling that you might have. Uh, if you really enjoy the content and you would like to further support the channel, please feel free to subscribe and then not at all to be pushy, but I do have a newly launched Patreon since the YouTube algorithm has suddenly found fault with my videos. Quite frustrating. I assure you, no pressure. Uh, just mention it one more time. New Patreon. And with that, guys, I <laughs> will see you in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Thank you for watching Share, subscribe for more.